Hello guys, Somer here, and I've gotten a few requests to kind of show like how I make videos, so here it is. I'm going to go over a few tips and stuff to make it easier, stuff I do and stuff. Okay, the first thing is kind of what to do to get started, the layout I use and stuff like that. I use this layout, um, it's pretty effective, um, project and stuff, effect controls, stuff like that up here the preview window right here and the sequence uh, I mean the timeline down here and yeah for sequence presets um, doesn't really matter cuz yeah you'll see in a bit okay the second thing is like cutting trimming syncing all the cool stuff like that what I do is just create a new sequence control and just like I said, presets don't really matter. Just go with that, I guess. And okay, drag your clip into the timeline. And here's why um, presets don't matter, because you can just change the sequence settings like this. Um, what this does is change the settings to the properties of the clip, like if it's 1080p, 60 frames per second, and stuff like that. Just click change sequence settings yeah. now remember how you sync your clips to the song is like a big part of um, what makes it enjoyable to watch or not because in my opinion just straight matches with no editing is pretty boring to watch right. that's why I don't like include this whole thing with all the boring parts okay so go ahead and find where you want to cut it. Um, I like to rename my clips. Like you can see where I, um, what I do. One f at 140 and two, two minutes 255. They're jump shots. So let's go up to 140 by 140. And okay, here's a jump shot. I'm definitely everywhere. And leet. Fantastic. Okay, that's use the arrow keys to kind of navigate over here. Let a wide jump. Imagination. Yep, that's classic eye rush. Control C. Oh, by the way, um, for cutting, press C to go to the razor tool, and then V to go to the selection tool. It's a quick shortcut that I use often. Okay, select it, control C, control V, and go to where like the drop happens. Because um, syncing it with the music is pretty much what makes good videos good and what makes bad videos bad in my opinion cuz yeah okay drop happens there use the arrow keys to navigate to okay when the or whatever happens that's where the drop is so go and Go like a frame and frame before that, and drag this over here. And then go to whatever beat you want to cut it at, and just see again, cut it there. And Yep, looks pretty good. Yeah, you should always like sync your clips to the song to the beats. Cause I mean that's you might not think so, but I don't know. That's just me. I it kind of annoys me when the when I see videos that the uh, um the beats aren't synced with the um the, uh, the clips. Yeah, that's just me though. If you like it like that, 
fine. I don't know. It's just... Yeah. And another thing is, um, like, syncing it to the music, which is not just... doesn't just include, like, syncing it to the beats. It also means, um, like, at the soft parts, like that. Um, you kind of want to keep it, like, have the, um... Have some slower clips. Um, slow motion is good. Also, fading in and out is pretty useful um, for that. Let's see. Let's find a just a static. I mean, not static, but just a walking clip. Okay. Right there. Just cut about right here. And control V, just press apply or right click and apply default transitions. I like to make the transitions a little um, more out there, or whatever you call it. So just fades in from black. I should probably just delete this, lock these, lock the video thing to delete the um, bottom thing. Another thing you can do instead of cutting, you can just click on the end of the clip and drag it like that. And then you can add another clip right there. So that's pretty much the gist of that. Okay, the next thing is effects. Um, I don't really do much effects in Premiere. I use After Effects for that. Like this color correction and these um, these like little waves that I had on this video, the James Bond video and but if you call like slow motion and like transitions and stuff like that um, fading out and stuff, if you call that an effect then yeah I do do effects in Premiere and yeah that's pretty much it oh yeah um, I'll put a link in the description for um, the tutorials I use for After Effects. It's Baker's Toots. He makes like the coolest tutorials ever. <laughs> no fanboy. Just kidding. <coughs> okay, the last thing is export settings. Just Control M to export to export to media. Just go down to H.264, which is what I use, I guess. Then you can use whichever preset you like, HD, 720p, 1080p. Usually, um, if you're in like Europe and stuff, use 25 frames per second. That's HD, high definition, 1080p. That's the resolution. 25. That's the frames per second. But if you're in North America, then I guess use 30, uh, 29.97, which is basically 30. Then yeah, it doesn't really matter though. What I use is just YouTube HD 720p 29.97. It's low, small file size, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, yeah. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, tips, and stuff, just like comment, message me. On Facebook, YouTube, Congregate, anything. Later, mate. Summer out.